Hey everybody. Hey, thanks for tuning in for another episode of episode of Tuesday Tips with Todd. You know, so we had posted something yesterday, um, you know, about answering questions. You know, I, I've had a lot of clients and friends just, you know, say to me in passing, you know, hey, what's this going to do your job? What's it doing to the market? You know, this, that, and the other. So we had posted, uh, you know, out on, out on my community page and my actual team page, All Metro Real Estate Group, you know, just throw us some questions that you might have about the market or about how things are still, you know, playing out from a business standpoint from, you know, buying and selling houses. Um, you know, obviously this is all new to everybody. Hope it's not going to last too much longer. Uh, but you know, I just want to, I just want to really try to answer some of these folks' questions. So I'm just going to kind of dive into them. So can I still sell my home during the coronavirus? So yeah, we, I mean, we certainly can. Uh, I mean, here's, here's what's going on. Um, we're doing a number of different things. Uh, from a listing standpoint, um, I have actually had some video listing presentations with people uh, where I can do screen shares and I can show them all of my marketing. I, I'll, I will also send you my marketing plan. So I really go over the whole process um, right at my desk while they're sitting at their couch or at their desk, whatever the case may be. Um, I go through comps, I do all that stuff. Um, I still ultimately usually like to try to get into the house because that's where I can really see details and if there's some suggestions that I uh, think are gonna be important as far as you know, we need to do this to the house or do that to the house, whatever the case may be. But in essence, we can literally do everything um, just with, with the use of technology. We're also doing uh, so showings. Um, I'm doing sh uh, FaceTime showings at houses. Um, I actually, just on Sunday, I showed up clients a house that we actually wrote an offer on yesterday. And when he got to the house, I had my wipes, I had gloves, I had booties. So before he came in the house, I told him, I said, don't touch anything. Let me touch everything. I'll do the opening of cabinet doors and closets and pantries and things of that nature. So I wiped everything down. I opened them. He looked. We were in the house for every bit of, you know, 30, 40 minutes. I determined that he liked the house. He went his way. I went mine, went to my office, put the offer together electronically. Um, so it's, it's not necessarily business as usual, guys but there is still business because there are still serious buyers and sellers out there. Um, uh, will this affect my closing? You know, as of right now, uh, we have not seen any issues uh, as far as the title companies and things of that nature uh, not being able to uh, fulfill their obligations and get the deals closed. Um, you know, now what we may see that's gonna happen here is that our appraisers are backed up. And, that's, and that really doesn't have anything to do with the coronavirus, but we had this massive push for refinances uh, here just, I mean, literally in the last month um, that our appraisers are just backed up. So normally we'd see deals close around 30 days. Right now we're, you know, we are suggesting and be even being told by the appraisers and the banks to, to look at probably more about like 45 days. So it's, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it's a little bit of a delay you know, very, very small thing to worry about in the grand scheme of things. Uh, can I still do an open house if I want one? I'm personally not uh, condoning open houses. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway has also said that there will be no more open houses. I think that makes a lot of sense right now, guys. Um, you know, people can walk in from anywhere. Uh, we don't know if they've been in hospitals, if they've been around other people that have been infected or whatever the case may be. But one of the things that we definitely are able to do and will start doing are virtual open houses. And what I mean by that is I'll do FaceTime live of a house, just like when you guys have seen me do videos of, of listings, I'll basically hang out at a house as people come in and watch, like into the FaceTime and watch, I'll walk around and give them a tour. I can talk about everything about the house just like I would if you were standing right there. And that way, no one has to leave their house. I'm in the house by myself, doing my thing. Um, so yeah, yeah so look at houses. I think, well, I, I already kind of touched on that, you know, in FaceTime Live, uh, or I've even done videos for, you know, for people. I'll go through 
you know, I might take a five or 10 minute video and I have software on my phone to where it'll embed that video down and I can just simply text it. What if I don't want people in my house? Okay, so that's, that's actually a great question. Um, you know, a lot of people don't, um, but you know, in the event that somebody, somebody is serious about selling their house, well, let's, so let's address, you know, the precautionary measures that we're taking. You know, booties, uh, you know, the hand sanitizer, our wipes, um, you know, basically again, what I'm doing is I'm wiping down hard surfaces, doorknobs, light switches, you know, all that good stuff, uh, rubber gloves, I forgot to mention that. Um, just last weekend, I put a house on the market on Friday. My sellers at first were concerned that because of coronavirus, that there was not gonna be much, you know, interest or activity in the house. And I assured them based on where they were at, and their price point that we would have great activity. We uh, pre-marketed the house and when we launched it within a 24 hour period, we had 26 showings and we had six offers. We sold the house well above list price. Now, what they opted to do, because I told them, I said, guys, you're gonna have a very busy house the first day to day and a half that the house is on the market. So we went on the market on Friday afternoon. They just went and checked into a hotel Friday night. So come Saturday night, around seven o'clock, they came back home. But I had six offers for them, so they were really happy. So, um, you know, again, if, some, if, 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 if you don't want a bunch of people in your house, again, there is ways around that. And I totally respect and understand everybody's uh, decision. Um, I've already mentioned some of the ways that we're, that we're handling this for right, you know, for right now. Because again, if somebody has the need to get their house sold or to buy a house, we're gonna make it happen. How do you think coronavirus will affect the overall market? You know, this is probably the biggest question that I've been getting from everybody. Um, you know, it's going to affect different price points in different areas. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, it's still very, very important to have your house aggressively marketed. Because what a lot of people are doing right now, since they, you know, just even for some of the reasons that I just mentioned right here, you know, I don't want people in my house. I think that the market is gonna get beat up, so I'm gonna take my house off the market. Well, if you're a serious seller, now is actually the time to not take your house off the market because since the fact that there's a bunch of people that will do just that, you're gonna have less competition. So just, just this past weekend, we had two brand new listings, one on Thursday, one on Friday. Sold them both on Saturday, wrote an offer yesterday. The market is busy, you guys, again, People know that there's some, some serious things going on right now, but at the end of the day, people are still buying and selling homes. Interest rates are still really low. It, you know, the weather is starting to cooperate with us. Um, you know, hopefully we won't have any more snow. That's when we see a robust real estate market. Um, but, at the, but at the end of the day, do I think it's gonna affect it? Yeah, I mean, I'd be, I'd be a fool to say that it's not going to affect it at all. I mean, because it's affecting everything. You know, it's gonna be a short term thing, hopefully, hopefully it won't last very long. But the people that are serious, we're able to show them houses, we're able to find them houses. And the people that are serious on the selling side, we're able to get their house marketed by using, you know, various, you know, means of technology and get the eyeballs on the house and get a serious buyer into the house and get it so that these are here. So, but if you guys have any questions that I didn't touch on here, um, regardless of what it is, feel free to call me, message me on Facebook, email me, all my info's down below. Uh, we're really here to help. Um, I, I'm not gonna be posting a bunch of, you know, you know, buy this house kind of stuff. I mean, because, I mean, you guys all know what I do. But really, at the end of the day, we want to help. Um, we're also going to be talking about doing some, uh, some food drives um, and even some other type of uh, pop-by items that we're going to want to drop off to uh, you know, some friends and clients. So again, guys, I hope everyone's being safe and trying to you know, practice uh, social responsibility as much as possible. Um, again, if, if I can answer any questions or be of any service, please let me know. I hope you guys all stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.